Let's see what happens when you have a bug in your code. Surely your application has some bugs. Like for example, like in, in this case, we, we have like four tests, and the third test case is, is failing, and we know that it fails. But what happens with this? I mean, we have this test report, and every time we run the test directly with Perl or even with Proof, we get the report that is failing. Now our boss doesn't like it because our, every time we have to think about it, whether why is it there with this test report. But we can't fix the test. I mean, people don't won't go won't fix the test because it was decided that this test is this bug is going to be fixed in the next release. So here you see that even if you run with this proof, it fails and it's red, and uh, we don't we want to deal with it. So either we can just delete the whole test, but we have worked hard to create this test. Uh, if we keep running this test and we keep getting the failures, at one point we'll, we'll feel that, oh, these tests, some of these tests will fail, don't worry about them, and then we lose old values of having tests. Or we can mark it as a to-do test. So we put a to-do block around the test that it's actually failing, and you know that it's going to fail. Uh, we localize the, the dollar to-do variable and give some explanation why we are uh, expecting this test to, to fail. For example, because there is a bug reported and we can't fix it for now, we don't fix it for now, so we just mark it as a to-do issue. We can even add the, the bug number here if you have a bug tracking system, so people will be uh, find it easier. easier. Now if you run the test, it still fails. It, uh, it doesn't fix the test, uh, but it marks now as a to-do test, uh, both uh, the comment and uh, when it says fail. So if we run it with the proof, with the harness, it will say all oh, successful, all oh, test successful, because now it knows that this test is expected to fail. So it's okay that it's going to fail, and I don't need to report it. So you have both worlds here. On one hand, you don't have to worry every time when you run the test with proof that the test fails and fails again, and, and why does it fail? On the other hand, you can still have the, the test running. But what happens if someone, like here, accidentally uh, or on purpose, fixes the actually problem in the application. And you run proof, and then the test succeeds. The to-do test succeeds. And here you can see that the test, the proof test says that the test uh, passed, but it also reports that certain tests, test number three, passed.